Hello guys, how's it going with your house and welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill Alchemilla or Alchemilla, whatever you might want to call it but um, yeah, I'm going to call it Alchemilla because it sounds a lot more cool <laughs> but um, yeah guys, this is a Silent Hill mod for Half-Life 2 and the full release has been released <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing this, guys. But um, yeah, I remember watching uh, Markiplier and Red Wolf, who are two great YouTubers, play the demo of this. I believe Markiplier played it in January last year, and Red Wolf played it in August in 2013, I believe. <coughs> so, you guys, this mod has been in development for quite a long time, and. Um, yeah, I think this was released two days ago, which is, um, which was on the 18th, I think. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's been in <laughs> development for a long time. But, um, yeah, this more or less focuses on the atmosphere to Silent Hill, so not exactly any, um, like, cheap jump scares or anything like that like most games out there like but um, yeah that's what I like in a good horror game anyway um, the atmosphere but um, anyway guys without further ado let's get to it and hope you enjoy <coughs> day I'll spend in my old room. Too many bad memories bottled up in here. Tomorrow I'll be in Ashfield. I don't want to sell the house, don't want any strangers living in it. I keep having this feeling like I'm going to leave something important here, like I'm forgetting something. But yeah, I think that says Ashfield. But, um, <laughs> apologies if I uh, can't read them. Consider the handwriting. Uh, right. <clears throat> but you yeah, guys, if any of you are fans of Mark Blair or Red Wolf, feel free to share this video to them just to let them know that the uh, full version has been released now, guys. Because they, uh, they both really enjoyed playing the demo. But, um,. Yeah, I think Red Wolf was a bit disappointed because there wasn't exactly any jump scares in it, but uh, but yeah, like I said before, this game focuses on the atmosphere to the original Silent Hill games, which is well, it's good in my book anyway. Because Silent Hill is basically. One of my all time favourite games. Wait, I think my favourites have to be um, Silent Hill 1 and 2. Third one was okay, and basically the rest was just. Uh, you know. You know if, I, if you've played it. Um, 
Yeah, like I said before, this game focuses mostly on the atmosphere. But um, yeah, don't get me wrong, I do like a good um, jump scare in horrors, but the atmosphere is more important for me anyway. <coughs> sounds and the music. <clears throat> Ooh. That would wake what you the up. hell is this place? I don't know. <clears throat> ah, my head. Was I dreaming? to all employees. The third story floor is now in critical condition and in need of repair. Access to the stairs is temporarily prohibited. If there is an urgent need to use the stairs then a key can be found either with the construction team who are currently at work repairing the third floor or with the doctors. I don't recommend using the stairs unless it's absolutely necessary. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm not being bored, and it's just real late. <laughs> You'll find a toolbox in the administration room. Please begin repairs on the water pipe immediately. If the cellar fills up with water, it will shut out the generator and there's a patient connected to the medical ventilator. Please hurry. P.S. Check the pipe under the sink in the kitchen. Okay, we shall bear that in mind. So, <gasps> flashlight. <coughs> cool, sad boy. Okay, so that's the two ups. It's like German, that. Could be wrong, but it does look like German. Hmm. I'm guessing that's what we need to get. <laughs> cool! I like that. Ah, that's cool. needing them soon. It's stuck. They're always stuck. I need a key to open it. Of preparation and dash seven eight three three D three C White Claudia. The new psychotic preparation causes extensive hallucinations and paranoia in the patient. The patient sees everyone as enemies and he even perceives the name of the doctors and nurses to read monsters. Suffers from distorted perception of the physical world acts aggressively towards other people. Furthermore, the preparation increases the blood pressure and practically doubles the heart rate. These symptoms may result in cardiac arrest. Preparation blah 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 has been denied approval for further use. <laughs> Dr. Calvin. <laughs> cool. 
What the fuck? What the fuck happened there? Considering we're studied in water, I do need to go back to the toolbox. Right, where was the toolbox now? Um, Me stepping on that. <laughs> Red okay. Drain the water. Hello. Room of death. One. The fuck? Whoa, it's giving me chills. <laughs> Christ. This door doesn't have a handle. Place looks all too familiar. I used to be here a long time ago. This is the hospital. You think? Save it. Oh, cool. I like how it's got a reflection. <laughs> Look. 
don't want to know. said I can go home soon, thank god. To me it's horrible here, I don't like this hostel, the food is terrible compared to a home cooked meal, this is just shit. Even fast food is starting to sound good, besides there's absolutely nothing to do here. And this room is simply awful, though it wouldn't be if they just fixed it. The truth is, on the third floor the repair work is already being done. From what I hear, the ceiling in room 302 has collapsed and crushed one of the patients. Apparently one of the doctors found him and he's now in the morgue. But that's just what I heard, I haven't seen it for myself. Don't worry, I'll be home soon, Bill. Anyway guys, I think I shall leave it here for now, but yeah, it's really, really uh, good so far. Really like the atmosphere. But um, yeah, it is so far staying true to the original Silent Hill games, which I'm really, really liking at the moment. But um, yeah guys, for now, hope you have enjoyed this part of Silent Hill Alchemilla. So feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe, such as I'll see you soon for part 2.